a little tight. Today's video is sponsored by Cuisine Royale. In today's video, we're taking the water bottle and liquid nitrogen rockets you've seen before and scaling them way up. Guys, a while ago, Grant showed you how to make a water bottle rocket using water and liquid nitrogen. Flip it upside down, builds up pressure, launches into the sky, it's really cool. You may recognize Nick Uhas from the channel Nick Uhas, where he does a lot of cool science experiments. And he took this water bottle rocket and decided to scale it way up. We thought that looked really cool, so we invited him to join us in doing the same thing and maybe modifying it to see if we can get it to work even better. Here's the basic idea. We're here with Nick Juhas, who has done some cool experiments scaling up the water bottle and liquid nitrogen rockets we've done in the past. We want to try and replicate what he's done and modify it slightly to see if we can get it to work even better. So we started out with this experiment doing butane rockets. Um, that was also something that we got from the King of Random, the TKOR channel. And the only problem with butane though is it's messy. It's like kind of gets, over, and it takes a lot to like get the butane out of yeah. the little containers. Not very happy about it. But it does the same thing as liquid nitrogen. And in fact, in a way, liquid nitrogen is actually more powerful because what's happening is it's expanding and it's propelling the, uh, the bottle up. And so what we did is we used a PET five gallon container, although there, there was some problems with that is that it would flip kind of like head over tail. And so what we're going to attempt to do in this video is kind of give it some aerodynamics. A little a bit. A little, tiny, yeah, tiny bit. stabilization. A little dome on the top, a uh, great place for a GoPro, and then some fins to see if we can get it to go more straight than as, as opposed to like tumbling through the air. Either would be cool. If it goes straight, that'll be even better. Here's what we're thinking. We're going to start out with this 16.9 ounce bottle. This had soda in it. And what you do is you fill it up mostly with water. Then you add some liquid nitrogen on top of that. You drop the bottle. And then it's glorious. What you do is you fill it mostly up with water. You add some liquid nitrogen on top of that. And then when you flip it upside down, the liquid nitrogen floats to the top, tries desperately to expand, and in doing so, pushes the water out the bottom very quickly. Then we're going to scale it up to a two liter bottle. Callie may just drink all of that watermelon flavored <laughs> soda. That's not where our size increase ends. We're also going to scale up to those five gallon blue water bottles, you know, the kind that's really hard to turn upside down, so you've got your water cooler. We're going to use one of those, and Nick has done that before a few times, Yeah. to entertaining but mixed results. Our goal is to hopefully <laughs> get something to shoot a little bit straighter by adding some stabilizing fins to the bottom of the bottle. Before we start testing those rockets, though, you should quickly head down to the description and click the link to check out the sponsor for today's video, Cuisine Royale, which is available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Cuisine Royale is a last man standing multiplayer online shooter that puts you in all kinds of wacky and unique battle scenarios. The game lets you play with dozens of other players in solo, duo, or squad matches on several unique and giant maps. Cuisine Royale also lets you play in your own unique way. There are tons of weapons, magic spells, gadgets, and character abilities that will help you dominate the battlefield. One of my favorite characters is Clyde, whose Beast Fury lets him overpower his enemies with his bare hands. Other characters can become invisible, send shockwaves with their hammer, or even slow down time around them, allowing for all kinds of epic gameplay. And of course, Cuisine Royale is completely free to download and play. Remember, it's available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So to download the game, head down to the description and use our link to get a free in-game bonus to get you started. And then you turn it upside down, quickly. So that's how an LN2 bottle rocket goes. Let's scale it up. We'll have it sprays out. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Oh. Onto the truck! That was great! Yes! Woo! That was awesome! <laughs> I don't think that's ever been done before. It sounds kind of backwards, but you want to make sure actually that you have a lot of water in the bottle. It's okay if it like kind of is a dud, but if you don't have enough water and you have too much liquid nitrogen, that's where things go boom. Definitely ending up on the ground. Three, two, one. Where is 
is it? It's right here. <laughs> All right, so that was too much liquid nitrogen, guys. It went up and then exploded back down, I think. <laughs> All right, so that's what we were talking about. If you put too much liquid nitrogen in this, um, it basically explodes because it has nowhere to go. So as you can see, it exploded out the top, but it also, uh, it probably hit the ground here and it shattered the bottom too. So the liquid nitrogen was just trying to get out of this bottle so bad that it just shredded it. All right, three. Two, one. Yes! Where? Catch it. Yes! <laughs> Someone's gonna catch it at some point. That, that was, was really a good, good one. man. That was great. That worked wonderfully. That was awesome. Let's go again. Let's go again. Your turn. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Why? It was like a little boop. <laughs> All right, so the one that I did I added too much liquid nitrogen and exploded right, like right as it took off, it exploded. Nate was right in between. It was pretty much perfect. It was like the perfect launch. Callie, yours had not enough. My porridge was too hot. Which, yours was too cold. Which I <laughs> added the liquid nitrogen to hers, so I just like estimated poorly. But yours so did good. launch. It was just it a did. slower launch. Like it start, you saw that jet yeah. of water coming out, and then it kind of took off. Let's go bigger. Let's go bigger! But let's go bigger! I'm crossing my eyes, but you can't see it. That's a full one of these. I think we're good. All right, yeah, let's give that a shot. All right. Three, two, one. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, that was crazy! <laughs> wow! That wow. was awesome! <laughs> Dude, that took off faster than I thought it was going to. Like it started cow. sooner. Wow. I didn't even have time to get it like, I don't know. I don't feel like I got it straight up and down. Maybe I overcorrected. Dude, that must have gone 300 feet. All right, keep it coming. Keep it coming. You're gonna go to like right to the top of my nail. Nope. <laughs> Not enough juice. That's what happens if you don't add enough liquid nitrogen. You don't create enough pressure. Even though it was like in the perfect position, it just couldn't build enough pressure to actually get airborne. So a little bit more liquid nitrogen, not too much. Let's see what happens. All right. Three, two, one. Maybe not enough. So I just, it just gave me a shower is what it did. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty comfortable with the five gallon container. What we're gonna do now is we're going to put on a cap and some fins on the five gallon container. We're gonna situate a GoPro right in the center so, and then we're also gonna put a GoPro on the side. So we're gonna have the vertical lift and then also looking straight up as if you were strapped into the rocket. And all we're using is this polystyrene uh, half dome and then some foam board that was purchased at the store. Ready? Yeah! Three, two, one. Yeah! Oh my God! <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, she's airborne! <laughs> Dude, that was epic! Oh, killed it, bro! Uh, I don't know if I think it actually flew any better. Look at no. you, you're covering! Holy cow! You've got jet fuel all over you! Do not oh. get it! Just kidding, it's water, bro. That was oh epic! My gosh. That was pretty sweet. Oh, that was man. so Fantastic. good, man. That worked pretty great. That um, worked perfectly. So, question though. Yeah. Do you think that actually went any straighter 
because it had the fins on it. I think it actually did. In yeah. all the other research oh. we've ever done, it has toppled. Oh. And this one, I actually watched it go up, and then it came straight down. I did see on the way down, it was kind of self-correcting. A so little bit, In little that bit. direction, I think it worked. I think, up, I didn't really get to look. I was soaked and just saw bright white light above me. Honestly, it was like just a perfect success. <laughs> like, it launched, it, it was straighter, like, everything about it was like right. Sweet. Yeah. Let's go get it. Yeah, yeah let's we gotta it. find it now. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> so I'd never actually even done the small liquid nitrogen rockets before. So everything today was a first for me. It was insane. I mean, we had ups, downs, left, rights. We had one explode. We had a couple fail. And then this one was just perfect. Whee! Very cool. Nick, thank you so much for joining us for this. Absolutely. Guys, Nick Uhas on his YouTube channel. Go check him out. This has been amazing. Love it. Thanks again to our sponsor, Cuisine Royale. Remember, the game is free to download and play, so click the link in the description to get your free bonus and start playing now. Want to fight? <laughs> Guys, that's it for today, but you know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.